Hey guys, Brandon here, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about bearded dragons. Uh, this is Hercules, and he is my bearded dragon that I uh, rehomed from someone because they didn't want him anymore. Which is cool because now I get to have him. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about they do make good pets. Um, they are really simple and easy to care for, and I think. If you want to get into reptiles and something to start with, something easy is bearded dragon. Once you know what you need and how to care for them, they are really simple. But now these originally come from Australia, um, but now with their willingness to breed in captivity, they are highly popular with people as pets, and they are so gentle and docile that it can be very rewarding to keep these guys if you are an advanced reptile keeper or if you are just getting into the hobby these are great to start with. Now by all means do your research before you think about getting a bearded dragon but once you've done your research and you know what you're doing they can be brilliant pets. Now bearded dragons come from Australia where it is very dry and there isn't much water so these guys do need a dry environment and some people say that you don't need to have a water bowl but I like to keep a water bowl, bottle, bowl in with mine just, just because. Um, now they don't, oh my god what are you saying? I'm going to edit that out. Now when you go to choose a bearded dragon from either a breeder or a pet shop there's a few things that you should be looking out for. You should be checking that the bearded dragon is alert and responsive and they've got bright eyes. You should be checking their mouth and their eyes to make sure there's nothing, no discharge or anything like that. Because you want a healthy bearded dragon. You don't want to be picking one that can't lift its head up and is looking lethargic. Hercules, where are you going? <laughs> um, a few other things to look out for is if they've got all of their fingers and their tail is fully grown. Some things do happen in with breeding where other bearded dragons will bite the ends of the tails off or their fingers thinking it's a worm. Now if it's fully healed and it's not red and it's not bloody then it should be absolutely fine and it shouldn't cause them any discomfort. <laughs> You're meant to be sitting still. But that's just some of the things to look out for. <clears throat> Also, when you go to choose your bearded dragon, you need to be looking out for parasites. Uh, check over the bearded dragon, make sure there's no bumps or lumps or any sort of grazes on them and make sure they are fully healthy with all the scales. Now, when it comes to housing a bearded dragon, an adult bearded dragon should be kept in at least a four foot vivarium with... <sighs> what are you? Uh, you can hear my dogs barking, probably. Um, they need to have plenty of things to climb on, like branches and like log hides. Um, you can get like cool bamboo things, uh, fake plants, or you can even make it into a bioactive vivarium. This is what happens when you film in a room full of pets. Other pets interrupt. Now bearded dragons require a full spectrum lighting for around 12 to 14 hours a day um, and this needs to be a 10% or 12% UVB which provides them with some of the best lighting that they can get. This helps them to digest their food and keeps their bodies healthy. This light also helps them keep healthy bones and make sure they don't have any deformities. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Now the heating or the basking spot for your bearded dragon should be around 35 degrees celsius to 50 celsius uh, and this spot should be kept on one side and the other side should be around 29 to 24 degrees uh, for a cooler side for them to go and get away from the heat if they need to. This heat helps them to digest their food and keeps everything healthy and happy. Now feeding your bearded dragon is fairly simple, they eat, they eat a lot of bugs and they will eat some vegetables uh, and bits of salad and things like that. 
um, it's important to keep giving them a varied diet and dust with calcium dust. Now you can go to any sort of pets at home or reptile shops um, to get the bulbs and things like that or you can order them offline but please do not go into your garden and pick up insects or worms things like that because there is you don't know what's been outside there could be pesticides um, and this could harm your bearded dragon so you want to make sure you know where the insects are coming from and make sure you know what he's eating or her. Uh, so I think that's going to be it for this short little video guys, uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you've uh, found something out or got something from this video, but don't forget to hit that like button, uh, subscribe and leave a comment, goodbye!